Hello. Hey, that's the wrong monitor. <laughs> Curse you, Oh, my God. I don't know why I needed to let that one out. Jeez. You tricked me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Feel better? Yeah, I tricked you with my burp. All right. How's it going, everybody? So let's get this guy loaded up. Boat. Boat. Yeah, Boat. here come the beans. And yeah, I actually uh, found a place that allows you to go full screen with uh, Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah, because that's what the world oh, needs is full screen really Oregon Trail. Oh, darn right. All right, my first one. Wait, this doesn't look like the <laughs> buck is like, let it begin. Let it begin. Ooh, bubble gum. Ooh, you lucky. Oh, that's lovely. You're very lucky. What did I get? Relinquish thy beans. Uh, look. Uh, Wait, oh. is that a reaper? Was that one of the spice beans? No, I don't see any spots. This might be a cherry. Hmm. Let's find out. Well, we're about to. Yep, it's cherry. Yep, cinnamon. Cinnamon, not cherry. Okay. <laughs> Hooey. Yeah, that would have shot. Um, Laru Durr says, I feel so old. I played this in elementary school on computers. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Uh, we had some like Apple twos and stuff. So you want to know, you want to uh, know something crazy? What? I have actually never played this game. Really? Yeah, I'm aware of it, but I've never played it. Oh, then we got to let you take the helm on the, uh, the first pass then oh really yep all right so yeah i'll uh i'll let you make all the decisions for the first run how about that sounds like a plan now i don't remember like 99 percent of this game <laughs> so if there's like some controls i've forgotten i apologize because i haven't played this since i was in elementary school <laughs> I never played this version of the game. Grew up with Oregon Trail 2 on Windows 95. Yeah, I can understand that. But yeah, no, this game came out in 1990. I was w w less than or exactly one year old. I was one year old when this game came out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the trail. Let's do it. All right. So your first choice is of your profession. Many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, a carpenter from Ohio, a farmer from Illinois, or find out the difference between these choices. Uh, I want to be. I want to be a carpenter from Ohio. You want to be a carpenter? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So, you are a carpenter from Ohio. What is the first name of the wagon leader? The first name of the wagon leader. Hmm. Well, we got to give him something stupid. Mm-hmm. Does anyone actually know how this game works? You know what? Probably not. No, probably not. Uh, <laughs> Maz is just like Joseph. No, we got to go crazier than that. Uh, how about... We usually name our characters after fruit, right? Uh, we did a lot of the links after fruit, yeah. Actually, maybe that's not appropriate because we typically just go with our Zelda characters for that. So maybe we can name a character after a vegetable then. Okay. Flannel pants. <laughs> <laughs> flannel pants. I actually kind of like that. No, let's go for it. Let's go, let's with, go it? with it. Let's go with flannel pants. I like it, Baku. Well, uh, I can't put pants, so he's flannel pan. Yay! Flannel pan! <laughs> All right. So there is a character limit. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten characters. What are the first names of the other four m members of your party? Um... Kumquat plus pumpkin. Kumpkin. I All like right, it. Kumpkin. Let's do it. All right. We need uh, three more names. Uh, let's do. So we've we've named uh the mom or the dad, the mom, and now these are the kids. Um. <laughs> Bumsida. Um yeah, we could do Bumsida and Nosbler. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so Bumsida uh Bumsida. What was it? And Nosbler. 
Nosbler. Okay. Because that's... And then the last one's going to be Chester, because he's the baby. Yes. Are these names correct? Yes. All right. It is 1848. Your jumping off uh, place from Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Uh, ask for advice. All right. Uh, you attend a public meeting held for folks with the Carolina organ fever. Or Carif California, that's the one you're told. If you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. All right. So now, okay, so now we have to decide when we're leaving. So we want to make sure that we're not traveling during winter. So, yeah, I would probably. But if you leave too early, the grass hasn't grown. Yeah. So I would probably say uh, May, because by that point, grass is kind of growing during the springtime, right? Yeah, we've got the April showers, and now we can eat the May flowers. Exactly, and it's not going to be winter for a long, long time. So okay. let's do May. Okay. Before leaving Independence, you should be uh, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have eight hundred dollars in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. All right, so we've got eight hundred bucks. Uh, you can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon? I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon and clothing for both summer and winter. Hmm. Plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifles, and spare parts for your wagon. All right, we have eight hundred bucks, and you need to figure out how much you want to buy of each. Why does it all say zero dollars? <laughs> because we haven't bought anything yet. That's the bill. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um. Okay, so we're obviously going to need an oxen for pulling the wagon, right? Yeah. So. All right. How many oxen you want? They're 40 bucks. They're 40 bucks a pop? Or wait. Uh, there are two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. So, yeah, he's going to charge 40 bucks per oxen, I think. So you need at least two to pull your wagon. Right. And he says he recommends at least three yoke. Yeah, so that way you have a spare in case one of them gets a flat tire. Yeah, all right. Then let's do three yoke and spend the 40 bucks each. Hey, one crazy gamer, dude. Hey, Thanks for, thank the you for the raid. Uh, did you pick banker? No, we picked uh, carpenter. Yeah, we're a carpenter. <laughs> a flat yoke. Darn right. Uh, how many do you want? Uh, three. Three? Okay. So that'll be 120 bucks. Uh, how much food do you want? Um, let's see, we want to make sure we have plenty of food. So, I mean, how how do we know yeah. is how do we know if it's enough food? You don't. Well, great. You just bought six oxen. Oh, two oxen and one yoke. Oh, okay. Uh, we can go back and change. Oh yeah, that let's let's want. change that. You want to just do one or two? Uh. Okay, yeah, just do one. Just do one. You don't want to have any spare oxen or spare yokes. Well, well, I, I mean, well, more. they're saying. Well, there's. I mean, if we do two, we're gonna have four oxen, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to have a horde of cows. I mean, we could. <laughs> uh, recommends three yokes. That's yeah. actually fine. Uh, well, now I'm confused on how this works. He says he recommends three yoke, but I'm confused if we're paying forty dollars for. Like every time we pay forty bucks, we're getting a well, pair. Well, I, I think what it is is we're paying for the harnesses for the oxen. I don't think we're actually buying the oxen. I think the oxen are implied. So the yoke is what you actually would use to harness the oxen to the wagon. So if any of your yokes break, you would need replacements. I think. Well, that by, by that login, we would probably want to buy three. I think. Okay, then let's buy three. Yes, uh, you're buying the oxen. There are two per yoke. So we are getting. You are buying the so oxen? we are getting six oxen then. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe we just rotate them out in case some of them get tired or something. Okay. Well, the game recommends three, so I say let's try yeah, it. Yeah. All right. I guess we're going with it. Um, let's look at food. 
All right, you want to do food or you want to look at like spare parts or other things first? Uh, food's really important. <laughs> so All let's right. look at food. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. Uh, I see you have five people in all, so uh, and you'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. Uh, my price is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? So he's recommending a thousand pounds of food. Yeah, geez, that's a lot of food. Um, so a thousand pounds of food, and it's 20 <clears throat> cents per pound. Yep. Let me pull up a calculator because I'm bad at doing math in my head. I can always enter the values and see what it comes up to as well. I guess that's true, but... Yeah, a lot of people in chat are saying, I would have gone with two. And yeah, Foxy makes a good point. We can also hunt for food. True. Um... Hmm. Yeah. How, mu how much would it cost to get, like, the full thousand? I'm curious. Uh, all right, let's do a thousand pounds of food. Uh, that comes up to 200 bucks. All right. So now we're going to owe $320 if we go with that. Yep. So what if we, we could do... drop the oxen if we wanted to save 40 bucks and go with like two instead of three. Mm -hmm. But this is your Yeah, choice. let's go with two oxen. Like let's two oxen. Yeah. Let's drop that. Right. Let's drop that down. All right. Uh, all right. So spare parts would be next on my priority list. All right. Spare parts. Five. Uh, it's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon. Here are the prices. You get a wagon wheel, $10 each, wagon axle, $10 each, and a wagon tongue, which is $10 each. How many wagon wheels? Let's see. So two parts is 20 bucks each. So that would be $60 if we wanted to get two of each part. Yeah. So I'm thinking two of each spare part. Okay, so we'll get two wagon wheels, two axles, and two tongues. And that's 60 bucks. Yeah, let's, let's see what the price is going to come out to with that. So right now it's 340 Okay, so actually we're not doing too bad. Um, mm -hmm. So let's, let's look at... Uh, Let's look at clothing. Okay. Uh, you'll need warm coat, uh, warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. All right, so uh, five times two is 10. So it would be, so each set is uh, $10. 10 bucks. So it's about 100 if you bought two for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it would come out to $440. So even then we're still at half of what we've got in our pocket. Mm -hmm. So I still think we're doing okay. So let's, let's, <clears throat> let's try that out. You ready? 10? Yeah, let's do 10. Okay. And then that leaves ammunition. Uh, sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box is two bucks. All right. So 20 bullets for $2. That actually sounds like a really good that deal. That actually is a pretty good deal. Um, all right, let's get... I mean, if we pay $10, we can get five boxes of bullets. <clears throat> you want to get five boxes? Yeah, let's get five boxes of bullets. We'll have a lot of ammunition with that. And that's only 10 bucks. All right. And that comes up to 450 That's not too bad. So you'd have... 350 left over yeah so that's not too bad let's go with that let's do it okie dokie we're meeting most of the recommendations uh press spacebar to leave store okay well then you're ready to start good luck you have a long and difficult journey ahead of you oh there it is i remember that the naked looking davy crockett off to the right <laughs> he does look kind of <laughs> naked yeah. Uh, how do I beam? It's re uh, exclamation uh, point redeem space beam or, or double beam. But there is a uh, built in timer, so that way it doesn't happen too often. Yeah, so um, so I, I forget how we have the beans working now. Yeah, so it's uh, 
every 30 minutes, the chat can redeem uh, a bean or double bean. But only, um, but but only one. But only redeem. once every 30 minutes and once per person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Drink that So, one. like, only one, one person could do it per stream, but somebody else could do it 30 minutes yep. after that. So, like, did Dova, it. for example, Dova used up their, uh, their double bean earlier. So, yep. he can't do another double bean, but Foxy, for example, could. Yeah. Which I need to do, like, an exclamation point help or command thing anyway. I need to set that up. Indeed. All right. Do the Mario's In your arms from no, side there's to side. Come on, it's time to go do time the Mario. Go do the Mario. All right. All right. So I'm going to let you look at the choices while I do my squats. Oh, all right. Well. Water. Glug, glug, glug. What? See, weather cool, health good, pace steady, Four. rations filling. Five. You may continue on the trail, Six. check supplies, look Seven. at map, change pace, change food rations, stop to rest, attempt to trade, talk to people, Ten. buy supplies. I mean, we're, we're, the weather's doing all right. <clears throat> we're, our health seems to be good. Uh -huh. Everything looks good. I don't see why we can't continue on the trail. Okay. Do you want to change your speed or you want to stick with steady? Uh, let's stick to steady. Okay. Uh, from Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. Drink that water. Glug, glug, glug. All right, so. Oh, you found some wild fruit. Yay! That gave you five free pounds. Oh, hey, more wild fruit. All right, free food. Oh, wow. <laughs> that one berry bush had 30 pounds of berries? Heck yeah. <laughs> what? Jeez. Hope the fruit is not poison. You don't have a choice. You're going to eat it. <laughs> you, are now at uh, you are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? See, weather is warm. Health is good. We still got lots of food. Yep. Uh, next landmark. Uh, is it, okay, so we are at our current landmark. We've already traveled 102 miles. Um, yep. Would you like to look around? Uh, sure. Why not? All right. Oh, look at it. It's so purdy. Kansas River Crossing, May 7th, 1848. Look at all that pretty view right there. Yeah. That's adorable. I actually like the way they detailed the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually really nice. All right. Let's uh, let's continue on. All right. I hope the fruit is not So poisoned. now we have to... You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 617 feet across and 3.4 feet deep in the middle. Okay. So we need to cross we need to cross the river somehow. I'm assuming there's no bridge. Yeah. So you can either attempt to ford the river, which means you essentially just go barrel through it. Uh you caulk the wagon and float across, so essentially you turn your wagon into a boat. Alright. Wait, wait, I haven't cleaned up yet. I'm not ready for guests. Sorry, Deku. You gotta get the move on. We coming. Yeah, we're coming to see you. Uh, you, we could take a ferry across, which means that we put our wagon on an actual boat. Uh, or we can wait to see if the conditions improve. Taking a ferry across doesn't sound like a bad idea if that's an option. If it can, if it yeah. can handle our wagon. That's what it says. It just says take a ferry. So you want to do that? The only thing I'm concerned about is we are carrying almost a thousand pounds of food. So I'm wondering, like, would the ferry be able to handle the weight? I would imagine so. Uh, That's funny. You're leaving my state and going to Deku State. Darn right. You know what? Yeah, let's try taking the ferry across. Uh, all right. Did the calculation, you guys are only going 0.7 miles per hour with the oxen you have. Hey. That actually doesn't sound too bad, though. No, that's not too bad. 17 miles a that's, day. That's not too That's not too bad, considering we're going by oxen and wagon. Yeah. All right. The ferry operator says that he will charge you $5 and that you will have to wait three days to cross. Are you willing to do this? Uh, Sure. We've got plenty of food. All right. So we wait three days and we take a raft across. 
the ferry got you party and your wagon safely across. Yeah! From the Kansas River crossing, it is 82 miles to the Big Blue River crossing. All right. Uh, there will be shit. <laughs> Look at that. We're still doing good. Yep. We're still healthy. We still got food. Yep. And you're making pretty decent time, I guess. All right, you're now at Big Blue River Crossing. What would you like to do? Would you like to look around? Yeah, let's look around. All right. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's already going through the river. So who's in the party right now? How many of them are dead? We just started, so nobody's died yet. <laughs> yep. Nope, nobody's dead. We're still, we're actually but Yeah, we, right. we just started. We're actually doing okay. And we have four abominations in Chester. Yep. All right. All right. So let's, let's continue. Okay. Uh, you must cross the river in order to continue. At this point, the river is currently 227 feet across and 2.0 feet deep in the middle. Okay. So what are our options? So at its deepest, it's only two feet deep. Yeah, that's that's not bad at all. So you could attempt to ford it. You could caulk the wagon and float across, wait to see if conditions improve, or get more information. Hmm. So, so none of you guys are coming to visit. What are you talking about? We, we're taking a wagon over to where you are. Yeah, we sent our babies. Yeah, we're coming. Better clean up and prepare a party. You agreed to babysit them, yeah. right? You agreed to this, right? <laughs> of course you did. Yeah, Bumsita and Nosler. Yeah. Whatever no, their, their Nos, names were. Nosbler. Yeah, that's the one. Um, <laughs> We'll take the next wagon train. <laughs> I'm tied between waiting to see if conditions improve or caulking the wagon. Okay. Well, if you wait to see if conditions improve, uh, there is also the chance that it may get worse. That's true. Let's caulk the wagon. Float across. All right. You caulk the wagon and float across on two feet of water. <laughs> Uh, you had no trouble floating the wagon across. All right. Hey, I mean, it's the safe option, so. You've <laughs> given me images that I did not want to think of. You're welcome. If we, if, we, <laughs> if we had tried to force the wagon through two feet of water, the wheel could have gotten stuck. Yep, that's true. So, there is a chance. All right. Weather is cool. Health is good. Still got lots of food. Let's go. <coughs> okay. Uh, it's 118 miles to Fort Kearney. Let's go. Let's go to Fort Kearney. We can do this. Oh, there it is. No, Nuspler's broken an arm. How? How did he break an arm? How? What happened? How the hell did he, must he have, do that? He must have fell off the wagon, the little shit. Oh, <laughs> great. Here we go. All right. Uh, you made it to Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? Uh, Sure. <laughs> He, he was probably wrestling the arson or the oxen again. <laughs> Curry is actually a great place to stop. I've done that drive quite a few times. Nice. Yeah. All right. You want to look around? Yeah. Let's look around. Even though our son's there we go. arm is broken. <laughs> eh, he'll get better. He'll be fine. Yeah. Look at all those wagons. Oh, look at that horse. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's a glorious horse. <laughs> Fort Kearney, it's three brick houses and a flagpole. Yep, that's all it is. <laughs> Fort is a cool place to visit. Broken arm builds character. It'll be fine. I agree. Oh, God. I I broke my knee. I think I've told the story, but I broke my knee uh, back when I was a kid. And uh, yeah. I still have... Uh, I, st I still have the arthritis from that. Like, I've, I've been diagnosed with, like, the post-traumatic uh, arthritis... So every mm -hmm. once in a while, when the atmosphere is changing a little bit, my knees just like, Burr! and I'm just like, <laughs> all right, I got to sit that like, actually, I went clothes shopping last week. And like, as I was walking into the into the store, my knees started acting up and I had to limp my way in. I had to find a, I had to find a place to sit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 1848. That is still in the middle of the Civil War. Huh? Actually, yeah, it is. Yeah. Our health is good, even though our son's arm is broken. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody's sick. 
I think, is what it's saying. Just put a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> yep. Or uh, take Baku's advice, rub some bacon on it. This is true. Uh, does mm -hmm. your knee react to the weather? Yes, it does. It usually starts acting up like in the like when it starts getting cooler outside. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, you can look at a map. We can change our pace. We can change our food rations. Uh, we can stop and rest for a bit, or we could also attempt to trade and talk with people. Uh, I'm assuming if we look at the map, we'll kind of see our progress. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the map. Let's see our progress. We All right. So. Uh, we started over in Independence, and we're at Fort Kearney, but uh, we still have a long ways to go. Yeah, we still got a long ways to go, but you know what? We're 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 making progress. Fort Walla Walla, that's awesome. Fort Walla Walla, is there a place on there called yeah, Fort that, Walla Walla? Yeah, it's over near Oregon City. It's like the second to last stop. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fort Walla Walla. Yeah, and there's also Soda Springs. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get out of the map. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a fort, so you could actually like buy supplies and talk to people if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Well, our son's arm is broken. Is there anything we could do anything about that? I don't know. We didn't have the option to buy medicine, so... Well, I mean, his arm is broken. I don't think there's medicine <clears throat> for that. He would have to, like... Well, like a splint or something, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Or a sling. Uh, I mean... Uh, part of me wants to say, let's try to rest and see if that helps, but on the other side, I'm thinking one day of rest is probably not going to help his arm recover so at this point i'm just kind of like maybe just tell him try to suck it up and hold on <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's not much we your carpenter just build him a new arm <laughs> this is true uh all right you know what? let's continue on our, our son's gonna just have to put up with it for a bit okay you don't want to talk to anyone or buy any supplies i still think we're good on supplies our food is still pretty booming Okay, so. then onward we go. It is 250 miles to Chimney Rock. All right. So this is a long stretch. That's fine. We still got 725 pounds of food. Just do the old trick and shove something in his mouth and pull the arm back into the socket. There you go. All right. Is anything going to happen? Unfortunately, it's broken, not dislocated. <laughs> See, look at that. Our food's lasting just fine. Uh-oh, broken wagon tongue. Would you like to repair it? Uh, yes, yes, we, have we, spare. we do have spares. So yeah, let's do it. You were unable to repair the broken wagon tongue. You must replace it with a spare part. What? Oh, well, that's what we wanted to do anyway. Well, we have a spare part. Well, no, a thief comes in the middle of the night and steals 57 pounds of food. You bastard. Oh, stupid thieves. Yeah, so what it was is it was asking, do you want to try and repair it? Uh, so that way you save the spare. So you don't oh, have to use okay. It. So it basically was saying we use the spare to fix it. Right. Cause it, we weren't able to just mend it. All right. Well, stupid. yeah. 57 pounds. Yeah. That's a How lot. How did he steal 57 <laughs> pounds of food? I don't know, man, but apparently he fit it in that tiny bag. Like that tiny little bag. He put 57 pounds of food in that. Yep. God, could you imagine lifting 50 pounds of food all at once? Good Lord. All right. Well, we made it to Chimney Rock. Okay. That was would, a bit of that. Would was, you like to look that around? That was a bit of a rougher travel. Uh, yeah, let's look around. Yep. Ah, there it is. The big old pointy rock. Mm. It's so... I love these like old school DOS tone music things for these like cutscenes. Mm -hmm. Ah yes, look at that! Look at that! It's so erect. Yup. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Uh, what would you like to do? Okay, so we're down to five hundred pounds of food. So I'd probably say, let you could attempt to trade with people. Yeah, let's attempt to trade. Okay. Uh, we also did use one of our wagon tongues. Uh, yeah. You meet another immigrant who wants one wagon axle and is willing to trade one wagon wheel. Well, that's not really that good of a trade. Wait, he wants a wagon wheel for what? An axle. Uh, it's not really. A or he wants it. Yeah, he wants an axle and we would, uh, get a wheel. No. No way. 
<laughs> no thanks. Um, so, yeah, no thanks to that deal. All right. I don't know if, like, oh, yeah, no, that did use a day attempting to trade. Oh, uh, damn. All right. Um, yeah, because we got here on the 5th, and now it's the 6th. <laughs> Pulls out gun. <laughs> Gotta need food. <laughs> Are we able to shop? Nope, because this isn't an actual, like, it's a landmark. Oh. It's not an actual, like, station. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's that wasn't a good trade. Uh, uh, what does change food rations do? Uh, it changes how much food you use per tick. So you could give your people less food, but they might get, like, sick and stuff. Yeah. Because they're not eating well. I mean, we're still doing okay, but if we go one more without... Mm -hmm. I mean, if the next stop is not a place where we can buy food, I would be concerned. We could look at the Let's map. Let's look at the map. Like, where's the? when's the next stop? Where uh, we get the next one is Laramie, which I think is a town. Yeah, that de that definitely looks like it's a town. Yeah, it's a fort. Okay, so uh, according to the king. so if we make one more trip, we can buy food in the next stop. Okay, so you want to go ahead and continue? Yeah, let's continue on the trail. All right, eighty six miles to Fort Laramie. Okay, eighty six miles is actually not too bad. Uh, Cumpkin has a fever. Great, and we broke a wagon wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's. <laughs> Good thing we got a spare wheel. Yeah. Let's fix it up. All right. Uh, oh, we were able to repair the wagon wheel, so we didn't use one oh, of the spares. Oh, good. Good. Wow, that day was rough. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was a rough day. Oh, and an ox wanders off, and we lose two days because we had to chase it down. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid ox. Uh, you pass a grave site. Would you like a closer look? Hmm. Uh, Bumbler, at least we have better luck rolling our encounters in your campaign. That's true. You know what? That's very true. Why not? Let's take a look. All right. Here lies Voland. Hey, hey, hey! Come out and play! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Put that on his gravestone? Yep. Uh, we lost the trail, and we lost five days. Gosh dang it! <laughs> <laughs> You are now at Fort Laramie. Would you like to take a look around? Yes. God dang it. <laughs> that was a rough one. Oh, yeah. No, we spent like almost an entire month only traveling like 80 miles. That sucked. Yeah, that was terrible. All right. Well, we're here and we got to buy stuff. All right. So let's buy supplies. Um... So, actually, oxen are cheaper here than what they were at the other place. Yeah. Uh, clothing is more expensive. Ammunition's more expensive. We still have clothing. And, so. Yeah. Um, so, it looks like the only thing that's cheaper here is oxen. Everything else is just a tad more expensive, yeah. but not much. But we, we definitely need to get um, more food. That's a for sure thing. That was terrible because you were terrible at this. A lot of it's RNG, man. It really is. Um, <laughs> all right. So how much would 600 pounds of food be? Uh, 600 pounds? Yeah. Uh, Hang on. Let me. So 100 pounds would be three bucks. Okay. It looks like it would. I, I, I was just doing some math. It looks like it's 80. No, wait. No, I, I, I'm getting that math wrong. Uh, the other place was 40 per ox and here it's 30. Yeah. So, oh, for a single ox. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, then. So yeah, everything is more expensive. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Why am I having a hard time with this math? <laughs> Hang on a second. So a hundred pounds for three bucks. Hang on. I would imagine. No, that's not right. It's $180. Okay. okay so. so yeah, 30 bucks. Okay, so wait, what? Thirty bucks? Hold on, for a hundred pounds, right? 
Uh, let me see. For a hundred pounds yeah. of food, yeah, it's thirty dollars. So if we wanted to get, let's see, three hundred pounds, it would be ninety dollars. So okay, so that would be three hundred forty-five minus ninety dollars equals. We'd be left with two hundred fifty-five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I have a calculator open. <laughs> No, I get it. I totally understand. <laughs> um, let's get let's get two hundred pounds of food. Okay. Uh, which one? Seven. How many pounds? Two hundred. Okay. Yeah, because that's sixty dollars. All right. Uh, we did also lose one of our wagon tongues. We did. So if we buy one of those, we'll be down to $270. So, yeah, let's get one. Because okay. you never know. We may end up uh, having two of them break down in a single trip. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, anything else you want to buy? No, nah, that's it. Okay. It is June 19th. The weather is cool. The health is good. And somebody in your wagon is sick. Somebody in the wagon is sick. Yep. If I remember correctly. Uh, well, it said they had a fever. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they have a fever, so they may or may not be sick. Yeah. So I think I think the health uh, changed to fair for a while, but the health went back to being good. Oh, OK. So I think then I think maybe they're recovering. I think they recovered from their fever. So I think we're good to continue on the trail. OK. Onward. Let's do it. Uh from Fort Laramie, it's 190 miles to Independence Ooh, Rock. Okay, that's a bit of a long stretch, but let's do it. Hopefully the, the food lasts. Ooh, wild fruit. Ah, oh, thank goodness, fruit. Uh, that was 20 pounds of fruit. Ah, oh, good. That's that that's that's good. That's a good find. I just used paper. Should I try a papaya bubble tea? What is that? Oh, I've heard of those bubble tea things. Uh, you can also always hit enter to size up the situation. So if we need to stop or make changes, uh, we can, or we can go hunting. Yeah, which going hunting is... Oh, broken wagon time. Uh, yeah, let's repair it. Uh, you were able to repair ah, it. Thank goodness. All right, cool. Being a carpenter is awesome. Yeah. You know, that's probably why <laughs> I picked it. <laughs> Was because of the damn the food wagon. is looking rough now. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got about 213 pounds of food now, uh, but we have made it to Independence Rock. Would you like to look around? Yeah, let's look around. Let's do it. Oh, it's very hot. Uh, which one Which one of these is Independence Rock? I'll, all I see is like a valley. Uh, Maybe it's the big rock that uh, looks like we're standing on it. Maybe it's the one we're standing on, or maybe it's... <laughs> Our family eats too much. Agreed. Or maybe it's the big split one with the big hole in it. Yeah, maybe. All right. What would you like to do? We can look at the map. We can stop to rest, attempt to trade, or talk to people. And we can also change some of our other settings. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's look for someone to trade. Uh, okay. So attempt to trade. Uh, you meet another immigrant who wants one ox. She will trade you one wagon axle. But we already have two axles. And I yep, need and my we have four oxen. And I I need I need my oxen. No, oh, we're not taking that trade. Oh, okay. Oh, no way. <laughs> That's not good trade. If you were offering food, I would be like, yeah, sure. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> uh, let's look at the map. All right. Uh, so we're a little under halfway. Okay. So we've still got a ways to go. I feel like yep. we're about to hit the stage where we're going to have to start r hunting for food here pretty soon. Probably. So, All right. I don't remember how to hunt. Is it like WASD in Spacebar or is it the arrow keys? I don't hunting? know. I've never played this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, eating the oxen is not an option. That is actually a surprise yeah. that it's not an option. Yeah, it's food with legs. Yeah. You just... Yeah, it's an oxen. Whatever. Um, when when hunting, don't overhunt. Oh yeah, I remember what can happen. 
As long as we get enough food to... You can't carry all you kill. Yeah, you can only bring back as much as the one person can carry. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Also, sometimes you can get mauled by a bear. Yep. <laughs> all right. So aside from food, I think we're doing all right. But I think we're going to definitely have to hunt while we're out. Okay. Do you want me to st stop the wagon trail next chance and go hunting? Yes. Okay. Then let's continue on the trail. And then let's hunt for food. Hunt for food. Oh, good. It gives me uh, some directions. Uh, enter key to start or stop walking. Uh, I use all of those to point. So, wait. What? The? Oh, okay. I use those and then those. Okay. Oh, yeah. The period and uh, comma. Or you can use the, the number keys. Yeah, so, so that points the rifle, space bar, fires. Okay, uh, let's let's try it. Oop. Uh, hang on. And Booyakasha. Uh, all right, I think I hit a buffalo. All right, and. That was you good. That, Oop. How much? Uh, let's let's have a look at that. Uh, let's look at let's. Oh, we can still keep hunting. I have, I have no idea how to stop hunting. Okay, um, then let's keep hunting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's just on a timer. All right. Uh, from the animals you shot, you got nine hundred and ninety-four pounds of meat. Heck yeah! <laughs> However, you were only able to carry a hundred pounds. No. <laughs> oh come on you could make trips yep. yep i agree wow all that wasted meat yep and we only had to hunt one thing but i mean hey that was that was definitely like a lot of food though all right well you know what that's fine let's continue on the trail okay. we have to stop and hunt again we will yep that is ridiculous that it should have hit can, a bunny. You can just yeah. freaking make trips and just come back from the rest. Inadequate grass, bad water. Uh, that didn't really slow us down, though. Uh, we are now at South Pass. Let's look around. Uh, boink. Yeah, like it's at that point, like, why would you go for the buffalo and not the rabbit? <laughs> Yeah, well, I was thinking, oh, I could just take down one buffalo with a bullet and save because I'd probably have to hit, like, three or four squirrels or rabbits, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, Aru. <laughs> um, may have to ration. Uh, love, yeah, we may have to ration a bit because, mm, well, okay. they, people would s potentially get sick if we did that. Hmm up to you uh eat the children <laughs> uh look at the map uh a three uh the next stop is a fort okay so we can buy food at the fort so you sure that the next stop is a fort yes because you see on the key in the bottom right uh the ones that have a, a black circle with a white or a black rectangle with a white square in the center those are forts okay so where, where are we going next we are out set uh we are at south right. pass and we are heading to fort bridger i think are, or are we heading to soda springs I yeah soda know. springs seems to me like that's the place where we would end up going yeah or we might have an option that's true there might be an option like hey do you want to go around this way or do you want to go this way you know yeah if we go to Fort Bridger, it's a longer trip. Yeah, so we would potentially waste some some days and stuff, and we're getting close to the Rockies. Mm -hmm. There's more children. We can lose one. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's get out of the map. Okay. And what's the date? 
July 17th. Okay. So we're still in summer. Yeah. So let's attempt to trade. All right. Uh, we need another immigrant who wants 128 bullets. We don't have this. Nope, we don't. <laughs> okay. Well, see you later. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, we haven't found a single good trade yet. Nope. All right. They're completely random, too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh... I'm on food. Um, hmm. We could still do more hunting. We got a lot of ammunition. Yep. So I say let's continue on the trail. We're just going to have to hunt. Okay. Do it. Uh, head for Green River Crossing or head for Fort Bridger. I knew it. So Green River. Yeah. I knew it. So Green River would be the more direct route. Yeah. I would say let's go for Green River. Okay. We'll have to wait one more time. We'll have to go one more stage without having to reach a fort but i think we'll be okay yeah as long as we uh, hunt. you want me to go ahead and hunt yeah definitely do some hunting okay uh kumpkin has measles by the way great oh how beautiful <laughs> all right let's hunt measles <sighs> uh okay so if i do that uh, eh, got a rabbit. Whoop, uh, uh, whoop. Oh, that was a bear. Uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't, don't go after bears. <laughs> uh, might not always have an option. Oh, that's another bear. Okay, not gonna shoot that. Yeah, you don't want to upset the bear. <laughs> that's a bad idea. Uh, dang it. He takes a little bit to like turn around sometimes. Okay. Oh, we got two pounds of meat. Sorry about that. Damn it. <laughs> We're going to have to hunt again. <laughs> All right. You want me to hunt again? Yes. All right. All right. Got a squirrel. Got another squirrel. Oop, another squirrel. Oh, I don't know if that one got hit. Uh, Hang on. I need to. Eh. Deer. Bear. No. I win. Did you actually kill a bear? Yes. I was trying to hit the deer, but the bear got in the oh, way. It, 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 it pulled a, uh, I'll protect you, Mr. President. Hey, look, another bear. <laughs> <laughs> you actually killed a bear. Darn right. Uh, from the animals you shot, you got 139 pounds of meat. However, you're only able to carry 100 pounds back. But hey, hey that bear that, actually, that bear actually is worth okay, it. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll probably make it to the next stop with that amount of food. Yeah. So yeah, actually, the bear was worth the bullet a lot more than the uh, the other thing. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I do think that getting the bigger animals is worth it because they at least give you a hundred pounds. Yeah. So shooting the rabbits and squirrels like are desperation measures, but getting deer and bear and buffalo definitely are the uh, the preference. Yes. Agreed. Okay. All right. You want to continue on Let's the trail? Let's do it. Inadequate grass, so the oxen take... Oh, that's also something else that's probably taking up food, is the oxen. All right, we made it to Green River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. We also have 115 pounds of food. Yes, let's look around. Thank you, water Thank buffalo. Thank you, water song. buffalo. Song. <laughs> you, you, uh, I think Haru knows the history that we have with that song. Yeah, I think we've told that story. Actually, that's uh, the project for next week. Oh, really? In your class? <laughs> yep. Awesome. Yeah, we start that. All right. Uh, let's see. Health fair. So, because somebody has measles. Yep. So. <sighs> hmm. Rations filling. Uh, we could cut back on rations. Uh, Foxy recommends resting. Yeah, because somebody does have measles. Yeah, let's rest. All right. How many days would you like to rest? Uh, let's try resting for three days. All right. Three days. Boink, boink, boink. Health good. 
All right, good. Perfect. All right, so. Let's attempt to find someone to trade with. All right. I uh, meet another immigrant who wants 146 bullets. Good God, no. <laughs> Man, every, they're expecting everybody to like fight off a zombie horde with how many bullets they expect you to have. Good Lord. <laughs> then again, at two bucks for 20, I mean, you could buy a freaking boatload of bullets. Ugh, okay. Show me the map again. Uh, three. So we are currently at the crossing and we're heading to Soda Springs. Yeah, and Soda Springs is a land. Yeah, it is a not fort. a fort. So. So we're going to have to make it Soda Springs first before we can actually buy food. So we still have to do more hunting. Yep. Because we're not finding anyone who wants to be like, hey, you want food? Well, they're not going to offer food because everybody needs food. Yeah. So that's fair. Um, How goes the Donner party? Um, Food rations are low and we're about to enter the Rockies, so it may end up becoming a Donner situation. <laughs> yeah, food's becoming the struggle. Uh, I honestly thought a thousand pounds of food would last longer than this. But... <sighs> I'm going to have to say the best chance we have is to continue doing more hunting. Okay. Well, we have to cross the river first. Right. <laughs> Everyone left, including the toilet. Then we killed it. Because I really don't want to lower the... the f I really don't want to lower the rate people eat. Yeah. Uh, soda Springs? What kind? Coke or Pepsi? I hope it's Coke. I'm not a fan of Pepsi, personally. But you want to continue yeah. on or you want to... Yeah, let's continue right. on. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 400 feet across and 20 feet deep in the middle. Lovely. That is a long drop. Yeah, that's a deep river. Yeah, that's a really deep river. Attempt to four. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we are not doing that. <laughs> uh, there is a ferry for this river. Yeah, so... But as you know, that comes at the cost of time. Yeah. Hmm. Which would mean it would cost food as well. But it's also the safest option. Yep. We still have over a thousand, not a thousand, a hundred pounds of food. So we should at least make it across before we can do some hunting. I <laughs> dare y'all to do option one. <laughs> I mean, I have a feel because we're going to do this a couple of times because I'm letting Nasa to take the first one. I'm going to take the second one and mine is going to be like the Hell's Half Acre run. Like I'm going yeah. to run those people ragged. Yeah, because like, like this is my first time playing. I want to try and see if I can make it. <laughs> yeah, you're being a very conservative. All right, let's take the ferry across. All right. Uh, says they will charge you five dollars and you'll have to wait four days. All right, so. Typically, people like people in the wagon eat about fifteen pounds of food per day. Something like that, I guess. So about fifty or so pounds of food to get across. So we're definitely gonna have to do hunting as soon as we get across. Yeah. So let's go. All right, you want to take the ferry? yeah? Let's do it. We're just gonna have to make sure we start hunting immediately when we get there. Boink. boink. It is now August third. I also love how the ferry is just a bunch of logs strapped together. The ferry got your party and wagon safely across. Yeah. Sure, there's a lot of math in this game. Yeah, if you want to actually do good. Uh, we have zero pounds of food. Hunt. <laughs> Hunt now. Yep. Uh, it's 143 miles to Soda Springs. All right. Hunt for food. We have ammunition. Use it. <laughs> Got a deer. Yes. I win. And don't forget about the bears. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think a deer is probably more than enough food. Are you sure? I don't know. I'm having a hard time because I'm stuck up in this corner to get, like, a clean shot at, like, stuff. Because, like, I can't walk past some of the terrain. Okay. Oh, hey, it was Rudolph. They had a red nose. Oh, yeah. Uh... 
Yeah, we got 70 pounds of meat for one deer. All right. We're still going to have to do more hunting, but that'll at least last us. All right. We'll do another day of hunting. Yeah, we're going to do another day of hunting because we got we, we need food. Oh, yeah. I'm in I'm in the middle now. Yeah. Hunt. Oh, you are screwed, deer. You ran right up point blank. <laughs> that deer was just asking for it. It really did. Oh, uh, eh, got a bunny. Oh, darn it. The I got another deer. Perfect. Ha! All right. Got two deer and a rabbit. I'll, I'll, you get to live today, Mr. Bear. Yeah. 125 pounds. So we got another hundred. All right, cool. So that's 170 uh, pounds of food. Bum almost killed Rudolph. Yep. And then Santa Claus would come after me. All right, what would you like to do? Uh, let's continue on the trail and see how far this food takes us. All right, so we got 140 pounds. Very little water. Inadequate grass. Wild fruit. Hey! hey! Oh, 20 pounds of food from that berry bush. Perfect. All right. Uh, Chester has broken an arm. No! Not Chester! <laughs> how, is, how is Chester going to eat cookies now? Well, he's, he still has a second arm. All right. How's our food supply? Uh, Nosbler has cholera, and we have 70 pounds of food. Lovely. <laughs> we got 74 <laughs> miles. Of... All right. Uh, hunt. <laughs> All right. Oh, we found wild fruit, too. Oh, perfect. All right. Hunt still. <laughs> we got ammunition. All Use right. it. <laughs> Got a rabbit. Uh, I don't want a squirrel. I need something big. I need something big. Uh, I need something thick. Ah, darn it. The lag on that is terrible. Come on. Come on. I need stuff to shoot. Oh, really? The rabbit blocked the deer? Darn it. No, there was a deer and I just shot at it. Oh. Darn it. All right. You want me to hunt again? Yeah. Four pounds All is right. not enough. I mean, that's... Because we've still got a lot of ammunition. Yep. Bear! I win. Yay! All right. That'll last. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the only thing I'm going to do is if a bear starts walking towards me, I'm going to have to shoot it in the face. <laughs> Ooh, a deer. You want me to take it? Uh, sure, but I think a bear is probably more than enough. Yeah, a bear is over a hundred at least. I would imagine. Yeah, I think it was like a hundred and twenty pounds of food. Yeah, I just have to. I have to be on watch to make sure. Yeah, it's a, it's two hundred pounds. Yeah. So, yeah. so one bear is plenty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was painful to watch. Yeah. All right, continue on the trail. All right. Inadequate grass. Lovely. We broke a wagon axle. Let's try and fix, fix it, it, shall we? Uh, we were able to repair the wagon axle. Perfect. Yay. Uh, lose trail, lose three days. Bah. Fuck you, game. It's August. It's not my yep. far from fall. Yep. Uh, would you like to do some more hunting, or uh, we want to continue on the trail? Continue on the trail. All right. We have 59 pounds. One of the oxen is injured. Well, good for him. Uh. uh Bumsida has a fever. Great. <laughs> Wrong trail. Lose five days. Oh, no. Health is poor. Uh, hunt. Um, and we have zero food. Hunt. hunt. <laughs> All right. We going hunting. You're going to have to get something big. All right. Let's, you got to uh... get something thick. Let's get over here where I have a better line of action on a lot of stuff. So I don't want the little guys. I need a big guy. Yeah, we need something big. Come on, Gabe. Give me something. Ah, oh, darn. That could have been a good shot for a deer, darn it. Oh no! Oh yeah, nothing came. Really? Uh, we gotta, gotta keep cut. We gotta keep hunting. All right. Really? What the hell is this position? All right, I'm gonna go over here. 
Yeah, it's giving you terrible positioning. <laughs> it really is. Got a deer. Perfect. All right. And a squirrel. That that poor bastard. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh -huh. Anybody else? Anybody else want some? All right, seventy-one pounds. That'll at least so at least something. at least get us to the next thing. Yeah, that was like four days of no food. Oh yeah, that was terrible. And you know what? It's like August, and it still says the weather's hot. <laughs> uh, let's. We got to get to the next point. All right, continue on the trail. Yeah, we got seventy pounds of food. Let's. Right. All right, one of the oxen has died. Great. Well, we have four oxen, so. Hey, we're at Soda Springs. Uh, okay, we made it. <laughs> yep. Let's take a look. Good lord. Maybe we can actually get some decent water. August is one of the hotter months. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, we're going we gonna to start getting into uh, fall pretty soon. All right, uh, health is very poor, our pace is steady, and our rations are filling. All right, well, the first thing we need to do is we need to rest because the health is very poor. Okay. How many days would you like to rest? Uh, let's try resting for two days. Okay. Boink, boink. Uh, health is poor, not very poor, so it did help. It helped, but it's not good enough. Let's see, check supplies. Uh, two. Uh, we have zero pounds of food. But we got ten sets of clothes. Hmm. I'll say I wish you could hunt at these checkpoints. Yeah. Damn it. That would be really nice. Damn it. Well... <laughs> Nas has such a bleeding heart, never lowering his uh, ration consumption. I want to make sure people are well fed. <laughs> I am not heartless. I am. <laughs> Good for you. We've still got so much ammunition. We could still keep, we could still do so much hunting. Yep, we still have 70 bullets. They've been starving for four days. <laughs> it's true. Hey, we tried to hunt for more food. We just had a rough four yep. days. We can recover from this. Yeah, so if we rest more. It's going to be resting with no food. Yep. This is making me hungry. <laughs> if we get on the trail... We can uh -huh. stop to rest any time, right? Yes. Let's let, look look at the map. Uh, three. So the next stop is Fort Hall, which is a fort. Yeah. So if we can at least make it there, we will be able you to can... buy food. Mm hmm. And we can hunt for more food along the way. Yep. <laughs> new quote I am not heartless Addison I am Bumbler <laughs> <laughs> alright even though the health is poor let's get back on the trail we're going to try and hunt for some food and then once we have food we're going to try and rest okay you want me to hunt immediately yeah you're going to want to hunt immediately alright uh, 57 miles to Fort Hall so luckily it's not that far Mm hmm all right we hunting yeah really game this is a terrible spot got a deer and a second deer all right that's okay. 100 pounds so with that amount of food we can stop and rest nom 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 I'm gonna just do donuts woo <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> This is gun safety at its finest. All right, got 100 pounds. And you said you want to rest? Yeah, we're going to try and rest and see if we can get people to recover. Okay. 
How many days would you like to rest? Let's rest for two days. Okay. 100 pounds should at least get us through two days of rest. Boink. Uh, it still says health is poor. Damn it. It's random as fuck. At this rate, they arrive in January. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Which means we're going to end up getting hit by winter, and it's going to go downhill real fast. Mm. Check supplies. I think getting to the fort and just buying food might be our best bet at this point. Yeah, that's the best bet, but... Mm, health. <laughs> yep. Check supplies. What would you like to do? Uh, two. Uh, we have 50 pounds of food. All right. Let's get back on the trail and hunt immediately. Okay. Well, I can just hunt from here. Yeah, let's just hunt. Um, All right. Oh, this is a great spot. We've got to get to the fort. <laughs> bear. Shot him in the butt. Nice. Oh, that's another bear. Get out of his way. You saw nothing. <laughs> Thank you. That bear will be will be a good amount of food. Yep. I just have to make sure no bears come from the top of the screen and murder my ass. <laughs> there we go. All right. 100 pounds of food. I wonder if, like, different starting groups, like, if you start as, like, is there a hunter option and they can, like, carry back more food or something? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I, I was curious, like, I know the like I know one of the big differences is starting money, but that might be it. But anyway, we got a bear, and we got 100 more pounds of food. All right, so... Make a mad dash for the fort? Let's try to make a mad dash for the fort. We're just going to have to not worry right. about health. Inadequate grass. That's fine. Inadequate grass. Very little water. Yeah, 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 we know about all that. All right, we got to Fort Hall with 50 pounds of food left. Ah, uh, good. Would you like to look around? Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy, deedy, deedy. Oh, look at Health it. Health is it's fair, lovely. yes. Good. Yeah, people are recovering. Good. It's amazing what happens when you fill them full of bear meat. <laughs> See? They can, they feel the courage coursing through their it's veins. It's almost like denying them <clears throat> more food that they need is a, like, it's a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's almost like f eating the amount of food that you need to eat is important <laughs> i wonder how many pounds of food i actually eat in a day all right we've got to shop for food okay uh nine buy supplies uh yep everything went up in price a little bit it's all right let's see how much everything is uh, 40 cents per pound of food. So we have 50 pounds. Uh-huh. But let's see. Calculator's up. I'm doing some math. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying always feed them less. I'm saying when you start getting low, start rationing. It's just conscientious planning. Yep. Get you would have hunted early. Yeah, I can understand that. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Ah, my arm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So three hundred pounds of food would be one hundred and twenty dollars. Eat the baby. <laughs> no, we're not gonna eat Chester. Heck no. Uh, if anything, he's going to be the sole survivor. <laughs> Hey, we're past the halfway point and no one's dead yet. I consider that an accomplishment. You know what? That's better than most of my runs. <laughs> and this is my first run. You have been hunting Chester's cousins. Well, you know what? He doesn't like his extended family, so. All right. <laughs> Buy me 300 pounds of food. Hooey. Okay. We're going to be left with $145. Uh -huh. 300 pounds of food. All right. Anything else? No, we're not going to buy anything else. So All let's... Right. So check supplies. Yep, 350 pounds of food. Yeah, so that'll last us quite a while without having to do much hunting. So let's check the map. We could use the bear fur for clothing. Uh, used it as a trading incident. Man, I wish we could. That would have made this game a lot more awesome. 
<laughs> waits for dysentery to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, check the map. Uh, look at the map. Uh, the next stop is Fort Boise, but it's a good ways off. Let me see. So this is going to be a long stretch, but the next stop is a fort. Yeah, and at that point, we're actually getting pretty close to our destination, too. Yep. Uh, we do have, I think, uh, how many bullets? 66 bullets still. Yeah, which we've we bought 100 bullets. So... A bear hat. We need a bear hat. I yes. agree. <laughs> so we're still actually doing really good on ammunition. Yep. It's going to start getting cold. Yeah, we're going to be going up into the mountains and it's getting to be middle of September. Yeah, but we also, we do have, uh, we do have clothing for everyone for both summer and winter. So that'll help. Yep. So. All right, let's get back on the trail. Let's do this. Okay. Just let me know if you want me to stop the hunt or rest. Yes. 182 miles to the Snake River Let's crossing. do this. Inadequate grass. That's fine. Uh, oh, axle broke again. Let's repair that. Uh, we were unable to fix it, so we had to use a That's spare. That's fine. We still have a, another spare. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bumsida has exhaustion. Well, you little bitch baby. Suck it up. You're yeah. tired. Wang. You, you can rest in the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nos Blair has broken arm <laughs> again. Good lord, what is he doing? That's breaking his arm. <laughs> yeah, what? Stop jumping out of the wagon. Rest in, just rest in the damn wagon, kid. Okay, rough trail. So we just made less progress that day, but we still made progress. You got uh, 170 pounds of food, 150. Uh, and there's the river crossing. We got a hundred pounds of food left. Hunt. All right. Stop the hunt. Once it goes below a hundred, I'm just like hunt. <laughs> got a deer. Oh yeah, you can actually see like the cacti and stuff. Oh, Why are yeah. we getting squirrels in the desert? It's a good question. Well, if I could get like one more deer in the desert, that would be awesome. Ah, got it. Yeah. Nice. All right. That's All right yeah, that'll be good. Ooh, that was quick. All right. Let's continue on the trail then. Yep. A hundred pounds. All right. So we got 165. Let's go. Uh, there was another, I think it was an inadequate grass. Uh, that will stop breaking the arm and provide food. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the arm. We made it. We made it to Snake River Crossing. Yeah, with how cruel everybody is, y'all are making me want to stream Rimworld and just do like a war crimes playthrough. <laughs> Rimworld? Yeah, so it's that game that I was telling you about with like the I had a pug as my prison warden. A pug as my prison. Oh, that's right. You were telling me about that on Wednesday. Yeah, so it, Rimworld is essentially a story-based kind of survival city builder kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can actually capture, like, your enemies and recruit them to your colony. Or you can do terrible, terrible things, like enslave them or harvest their organs or uh, shoot giant salvos of military arsenal at them and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> That's so that sounds ridiculous, and we should. Yeah, there's actually a mod to where you can play as Illithids or AKA Mind Flayers, and you can put like the brain, the brain tentacle babies inside of enemies, and then they'll eventually slowly turn into another <laughs> Mind Flayer. <laughs> so we could actually have a D and D themed Rim World playthrough. It sounds like a handsome Jack simulator. It sounds like it actually. Yeah, it pretty much is. Snake River Crossing, October 8th. Yeah, look around. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that beautiful river. It's great. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. All right, let's see what we, we, we got for options. All right, weather cold, health is fair. So we have actually started getting a little bit better on terms of uh, health. Yep. All right, so let's see. Uh, look at the map. I want to see the map. Uh, a three. 
So we're about halfway to Fort Boys. All right, so if we can just at least make it there, then we'll be... Yeah, at that point, you could probably dump the rest of your money and food if you wanted to. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, we just got to make sure that we make it there alive. Right. So, I mean, we still got plenty of ammunition. I think we still have about 50 bullets. I think we still have over 60. Yeah. So, I mean, we uh, we, we haven't even... Yeah, we have 63 yeah, bullets. Yeah, we haven't even exhausted half our ammunition yet that we bought at the start of this. <laughs> yep. Yeah, once I started to figure out, like, the hunting aiming, I started getting a lot more accurate. All right. So, yeah, let's continue on the trail, and we're going to want to start hunting pretty quick. All right. Uh, you must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 1,001 feet across. Good lord! What the fuck? <laughs> and it's 6.1 feet deep in the middle. So at least it's not nearly as deep as the last one. But dang, that is a wide-ass river. Holy shit! That is a huge river! Yeah. Uh, so we can attempt to ford the river. We can caulk the wagon and float across. We can hire an Indian to help or wait to see if conditions improve. They really want to see you ford the river. <laughs> I am not doing that. Uh, with six feet, yeah, that's about as tall as I am. Yep. So. No, we're not making it through that. Are you kidding me? Um, So the options would be for caulking the wagon or hiring an Indian to help. But I'm sure, you know, obviously the Indian's going to want something in return to help. Probably. And it may also cost some time. Yeah. But we could always, I think, just ask him and because normally those it gives you like the options like this is what it's going to take. Well, let's find out. Let's let's ask. All right. So hire an Indian. Yeah, let's ask and see what what we get. All right. Uh, Shoshone guide says that he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for three sets of clothing. Will you accept this offer? We have 10 sets of clothing and it's about to be winter. I mean, we could argue that, well, you know, it's about to be winter. We could just be like, hey, here's our summer clothes. You can have yeah. you can have the summer clothes. We haven't we haven't lost any of our articles of clothing yet. Yeah. So, so I would say, yes, let's do it. Uh, OK. Shoshone God will help you float your wagon across. I mean, it's winter. We're pretty much going to be wearing... He takes your wagon but leaves you behind. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, God. That would be the worst. All right. You had no trouble floating the wagon across. Perfect. So that was... That seemed like it was good, and we have 75 pounds of food. All right. Uh, it is 113 miles to Fort Boys. All right. Let's stop and hunt. Okay. Uh, eight. Hunt. Bang, deer. Get another deer. Uh, if it'll give me the option to, I absolutely will. Just not getting a lot of stuff spawning over on a... Uh, oh, no, he didn't turn the right way. Boo. <laughs> yeah, hunting... Yeah, that, was, that was my bad. Hunting feels like it's getting a little bit harder, as Baku said. Oh, yeah, no, it absolutely it absolutely is. But hey, we got 58 pounds. That's not too bad. Yeah. So we'll I would probably say let's hunt again because we've got the ammunition for it. OK. Oh, this is a much better like starting area. Ah, he unloaded right at the last second. Darn. Oop. Bear. Deer. <laughs> you got a bear and a deer? Yep. My twitchy gun finger just started firing because they were close. <laughs> oh, hi, rabbit. Well, there we go. Yeah. That... Actually, that bear wasn't as thick as the other one because I got a bear and a deer and that was only 200 pounds. So I'm wondering huh. if like... Because you would think a bear getting ready for winter would be putting on, like, weight, you know? Yeah, that's strange. It is awfully small yeah. bear. It's probably, just, it's probably just difficulty curve in the game. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Let's continue. Anyway, we got 100 pounds. Let's continue. 
All right. So we have 180, 150. Heavy fog, lose one day. Suck it game. Mm. Uh, one of the oxen is injured. Suck it oxen. And hey, there's the fort. 98. Heavy fog, lose one day. Man, screw this game. <laughs> Ah, we just got to get to the fort. <laughs> yep. 68, 53, inadequate breath, 38, heavy fog, lose a day, 23. Do you want me to hunt or you want to? Uh, 23 pounds of food. Hunt. Yeah. All right. We're not going to make the rest of those 48 miles without food. Bear. Yay! All right, if we get a bear, if we got a bear, that's good. Yeah. You want me to try and hunt anything else? I feel like a bear is probably enough, but if you want to try and kill one more thing, go ahead. Uh, deer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That should be plenty. Just, just to be sure. Oh, 246. So maybe it's just a random range of meat. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we got more than enough. Yeah, we should be able to make it to the fort at this point. All right. Continuing on the trail. Inadequate grass. Thank you, game. Bad Good water. Job. Thank you, game. Yeah. Mm. Heavy fog. Lose a day. Fuck you, game. <laughs> uh, 33 pounds. 18 pounds. 3 pounds. <laughs> we are now at the fort. <laughs> we got to the fort <laughs> at zero food. Yep. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's look at the fort. Oh, look at it. Look at how green and full of cattle it is. That means they must have food. Oh, I would love some food. All right. Uh, before before we go shopping for food, I want to look at the map. Okay. So this is the last stretch. We can either go through Blue Mountains and the Dales to go straight to Oregon City, or we can go to the Blue Mountains and detour to Fort Walla Walla, if I remember correctly. Okay, so detouring to Fort Walla Walla means that we would have another chance to actually buy food. Right, but it will take longer because we're going a more roundabout route. Indeed. Honestly, my thought is at this point, we just dump the rest of our money into food and we'll just use the ammunition that we have plenty of to hunt our way the rest of the way. Mm hmm. All right. That's kind of what I'm leaning uh, on. So it's 45 cents per pound. OK, that's actually better than what I was thinking. So um, we have one hundred and forty five dollars left. Yeah, five dollars per pound. That would suck. Yeah, no, that would be the worst. We could also buy some more ammo because it's like 20 bullets per box. This is true. We could get 20 more uh, twenty more bullets and it would only cost us uh, 450 Yeah. So, okay, so 45 cents per pound of food. So we could get like two boxes and then that would uh, give us back to like 100. Okay, so if we bought 300 pounds of food, and bought uh -huh. two boxes of ammo, which would be this and this. That would cost us a total of $144, so we'd be left with $1. Okay. <laughs> so how much food? Uh, 300 pounds. Okay. Uh, seven, 300 pounds. And then you want... Uh, two things of ammunition and we have one dollar we've got one dollar <laughs> all right and we still have one spare of all a right. couple of things um, and... before we leave let me think about something first uh -huh. do you want to change our like food rations i was stuff? thinking about it Ooh. i don't want to but i was thinking about it because we need that 300 pounds to last if we're going straight for Oregon City. <laughs> yep. What are our options for change food rations? Uh, filling, meager, and bare bones. Uh, meager is meals are small but adequate. Uh, filling is meals are large and generous. And then three, bare bones okay. meals are very small and everyone stays hungry. 
Let's change it to meager. Okay. Uh, do you want to change the pace at all? Or do you want to stay steady? We're going to stay steady. All right. Continue onward. Let's do it. All right. What's the threshold you want me to hunt at? Um, as soon as our food drops below 100 pounds, hunt. Okay. All right. 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. Let's do this. Severe blizzard. Lose one day. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, wagon wheel. All right. Let's see if we fix it. Unable to replace it, so we use a spare. It's fine. We still have another wagon wheel. Yep. Uh, broken wagon tongue. <laughs> God. Uh, we were able to replace it. So good thing we're a carpenter. That's good. Severe blizzard. Lose one day. God, games. Stop. Another blizzard. Lose a day. Jeez. Yeah, winter's getting rough. Yep. A uh, thief comes in the night and steals one set of clothing. Great. It's fine. Take one of our summer clothes. So I don't care. <laughs> yep. One of the oxen has died. So we are now down to two. <laughs> <laughs> this is going south. Wrong trail. Lose four days. No. <laughs> this is going south. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this is going south real quick. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and hunt for food real quick. <laughs> that would be a good plan. Yeah. You must be in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm kind of wishing we had left in April. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's what it kind of feels like, man. I have trapped the squirrel. He cannot escape. <laughs> that poor squirrel. And the... Uh, bam. Two deer. All right, perfect. Reject humanity, become Wendigo. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was another 100 pounds of food. That should do it for a little bit. Yep. Uh, it's getting to be December. Heavy fog, lose a day. Okay. Oh, there's the Blue Mountains. Bumps it as typhoid. No. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, we have to go hunt for food again. Hunt for food. Based off of based off of your guidelines, sir. What the hell is this start? <laughs> this is dumb. There we go. Now I can at least actually shoot at stuff. Uh, really? You go behind the rocks now that I freaking moved? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Thank you, chat. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Give me something to shoot at. Rabbit wouldn't give us much. Wow. Seriously? It gave me nothing. Seriously? Dang, that sucks. Deep hunting. This is much uh, better for firing. Oh, there we go. We got a bear. Perfect. Bam. Bear should be good. I'm going to shoot a second bear out of rage. I still think that's what you get bear. I still think it's bullshit that you can't just make trips between there and the wagon and be like, Hey, I got, there's more food over there that we could bring to the wagon. I got to go get it. You know? Right. That's such bull. Uh, wouldn't want to be near one, uh, but would appreciate one from afar. Uh, Wendigo's gotcha. All right. Well, we got some more food. Keep going. We got to make it. <laughs> yep. Uh, severe blizzard, lose a day. Heavy fog, lose a day. Ugh. Yeah, our travel time is drastically reduced right now because we're up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'm going to have to do another hunting session here. Health is poor, but at least we're, we're making it. <laughs> uh, but at least we're alive. Yeah, at least we're alive. <laughs> should have taken that shot all right game what you gonna give me really D you spawn them in the bottom corner that i can't shoot at fuck you game uh, it takes a full day to hunt and cure the food if you return the next day the leftovers will have spoiled fair yeah that's fair all right i got a bear and a deer perfect 
All right, that's another 100 pounds of food. But health is very poor, and the weather is very cold. <laughs> Surprise bears are appearing. Yeah, in winter. Continue on the Severe trail. Blizzard. We gotta make it to the next point. Severe blizzard. Chester has exhaustion. Bumsida has a fever. Rough trail. Okay. We're about to die. Uh, Bumsida has died. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, what would you like to do? You want to push on to the next area? Well, we lost one oh. of our children. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Keep moving forward. We got to get to the next checkpoint. All right. It's 14 <laughs> up. Nospler has cholera. <laughs> Here we go. We're so close. <laughs> Lose a day. Oh, well, there goes Cumpkin. There goes the wife. <laughs> Rough trail. Oh, come on. It's 12 miles to it. It's We're so close. Miles. It's 12. We're only going miles. two miles a day. Oh, Nosplur has died. Oh, my God. Heavy fog. <laughs> Rough trail. Oh, my God. We're so close. Severe. Ah, oh, come on. A thief comes and steals 16 pounds of food. Fuck you, game. Hey, we made it to the Blue Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> You actually went a long way without any deaths. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's look around with our four pounds of food. And I think one person who's still alive? <laughs> uh, I think two people have died. Nope, two or three. The, yeah. We started with five, so we have two people left. I yeah, think. there's two people left alive. Yeah, that is not what this would look like in January. No. Like, this would be, this would be all fucking covered in snow. Oh, good lord. If we had left uh, in April, I think we would have actually made this. Yep. Uh, flannel pans and Chester are alive. That's right. All right. Uh, would you like to attempt to trade or talk with people? Uh, well, let me look at the map. Let's see where our progress is at. All right. So we still have to get to the Dales and then Oregon City. So we got one more benchmark. <laughs> the most unfortunate yep. events. And to be fair, not dead yet. Yep. Well, I mean, we lost three people. And that's just going from the fort to where we're at now. We lost three people. Yep. Which, I mean, honestly, that is like one of the mountainy areas of the trip. So it doesn't look far on the map but it's actually a lot of time because you're having to go up and down mountains and hills so you don't travel as many like as much distance yeah and trade some clothes don't need them all anymore that's true yeah that's gonna spend a day though yep uh you know what? Yeah, let's look for someone to trade with all right i uh, meet another immigrant who wants one ox they will trade you 200 bullets <laughs> I am not giving away my ox. I have two. <laughs> yep. I have two ox. <laughs> <laughs> is it seriously January? It is January. Yes, it's January 4th. <laughs> Happy New Year, oh, everybody. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. All right. Well, hmm. Health may be poor, but... I don't know if we can afford to stop to rest with the food that we have. Yeah, we had four pounds of food and we re we spent a day trying to trade, so we're probably at zero. Yeah, so we're going to have to get back on the trail. All right. Uh, do we head for Fort Walla Walla or head for the Dales? We're going for the Dales. All right. Better part of valor at this point. <laughs> yep. Uh, it is 125 miles to the Dales, and I know you want me to probably. Yes, hunt. I do. Uh, oops, I have to. Uh, I have to travel a little bit of distance. Uh, the Dales. There we go. All right, now I can hunt. <sighs> yeah, we got to go one day without food before we're allowed to hunt. That's stupid. <laughs> yep. Alright, I got a bear. Alright, cool. Yeah, I got a bear and a rabbit. That should be a hundred, I would imagine. 
<laughs> we have only... we have like two months left of 2021. What is time? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Woo! Yep, 100 pounds. And we have fewer people to eat it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've currently got 96 pounds. Do you want me to hunt again yeah. or you want to keep Yeah, going? hunt again. Hunt again? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, got a deer. Oh, ding oh man, that was a rough face in the wrong rough way. Rough round. That's this game in a nutshell, man. It's like the first 75% of this whole run was actually going fairly smoothly, and then that last one just oof. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, everything is all sunshine and rainbows when you leave Independence, and then once you get to the Rockies, just hell freezes over, and everything wants to annihilate you. <laughs> really, game? You're not going to give me anything else to shoot at? Well, we got 74 pounds of meat from that deer, at least. All right, well, let's let's continue onward and see how far we get. We're, right. 174 We're only pounds. using four pounds of uh, food a day, though, now that we've uh, had a lot of people die. <laughs> So as long as our oxen hold out, I think we'll be okay. It only cost us. It only cost us three of our fem members of the family. Yeah, we can make more. <laughs> the wife is dead. We can remarry. <laughs> All right, we're below a hundred. Do you want me to hunt again, or you want to keep going? For a little uh, bit? Keep going a little bit. We have right. less people to eat. Uh, you find it in a bag and abandoned wagon with the following three sets of clothing. Hey! hey! Uh, people's health is very poor right now. Though. Stop and rest. All we right. have food. How long would you like to rest? Uh, rest for three days. All right. We got the food. Yeah, we've got the food. We got the power. Uh, health is now poor, not very poor. Rest for another three days. All right. Stop to rest. Three days. Boink, boink, boink. It is now February and health is still poor. How is their health still poor? Our rations are still set to meager. That should be enough to... It's enough to sustain them, but yeah. Those three sets of clothes will be added to the next abandoned wagon for another party to find. Right. Yep. Change food rations to... Uh, the highest setting. All right. So food rations are filling. Yes. And we're going to get back on the trail. We're going to have to hunt. Okay. We have 78 pounds of Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Boomer. <laughs> I love we got you. 78 pounds of Boomer. <laughs> you know, that's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that needs to be a quote. You know what? Hang on a minute. I'm adding that to the quotes. <laughs> 78 pounds of boomer. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. Yeah, TC just opened the door at the right time, and I see her just coming in with her <laughs> big old muddy paws and jumping up on me. <laughs> oh, my God. That was great. Oh, God, that's great. Thank you, Wolf. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we have 78 pounds of food. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to you're going to want to hunt as soon as we get out there, because we're going to want to stop to rest. Oh, yeah, I can hunt right now. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is actually a pretty decent spot. I actually get something that'll uh, <laughs> pop up near me. <laughs> we, got these, we got 78 pounds of boomer! <laughs> <laughs> She's a big dog, man. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Ooh, there's a, there's a bear. Oh, God. No, no, come back, Mr. Bear. Eh. Got him! Oh, I got a bear! Nice. Fuck you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I just like freaking 360 no scope that deer. <laughs> you did. All right, we're gonna stop to rest and see if we can get our health up. Uh, oh, actually, health is fair after. Oh, hunting. okay, good. Then keep going. Then. All right. 172 pounds of food. Blizzard lose a day. Thanks, game. 
Uh, lose the trail, lose two days, thanks. Inadequate grass because it's all snowy, but health is still fair. Ooh, health is good now. Oh, good. And Chester's broken his arm again. Why does he keep breaking his arm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's February now. Uh, the hunting mini game is almost over. Everyone rush him. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we got 106 pounds of food. What would you like to uh, do? Let's hunt for some more food. All right. And let oh Chester... Oh, my uh, God. That's the third nurse time his... he's broken his arm. Yeah, nurse his wounds a little bit. All right, there's a deer. Screw you, bunny. Ah, oh, darn that bear. It would have been nice. Oh, well. Okay, 65 pounds of meat. That's not That's too not bad. That's not too bad. All right, let's get back on the trail. Eat his arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, broken wagon tongue. Uh, we'll fix oh. it. Thank you. Oh, I was hungry. I should grab the cheese midair. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she seems to be, like, more hungry lately. I wonder if it's because it's cooling off. Yeah, she's probably more energy to expend. Mm -hmm. It's not wearing out as much. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, we were unable to repair it, so we had to replace it with a spare. Great. And that was our last spare yep, tongue. Yeah, we have no spares left. Great. All right, well... Let's go. Oh, there it is. There's our destination. Health is good. Weather is warm in February. Uh, one of the oxen is injured. Oh, no. Oh, please. Please, no. All right. Impassable trail. Lose four days. No. Are we able to save, make sure the oxen's going to be okay? Uh, I don't know. We could try resting, I guess, maybe. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Keep, uh, keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have 81 pounds. Of food. Uh, hunt. All right. Chester has a fever. Great. It's fine. Let's go hunting. Yeah. Let's go hunting. <laughs> Chester, you'll be fine, right? <laughs> yeah. You're a champ, dear. Oh, I'm coming for you, bear. Oh, you better run, bear. Ah, oh, darn it. I wanted that bear so bad. Come on, game. Give me something else. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel! I'll take it. Oh, another bear. Oh, no. No! Ah, oh, there was another bear! Darn it. It ended. Oh, we got another 70 pounds almost. All right, that's fine. The animals are trolling you. They absolutely are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to continue on the trail? Yeah. Or did you want to rest for uh, Chester? No, health is fair. Let's keep going. All right, when Bumbler says, dear, I hear destroyer saying trash. <laughs> All right, it is now March. Chester has died. No! What? How did he die? Well, he had a broken arm, I guess. He That's broke fatal. his arm! <laughs> How did a broken arm kill him? Oh, that's that's the greatest tragedy of this run. Oh, Flannel Pan has measles, and they're the last one. Well, at this point... New monsters killed Chester. <laughs> he had a broken arm. That's all he had. Yep. You know what? Just just to really hammer it home, I'm going to turn Chester off on the stream. No. You better not. <laughs> turn him back on right this instant. <laughs> no. Do it. You have to earn him. No. Turn him back on this instant. <laughs> I demand it. You turn him back on right now. There you Thank go. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Flannel pan has measles and it's it's all it's March second. Uh well, the good news is we survived winter. Stop to rest already. Good lord. All right. Rest for five days. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, health is fair. Oh, good God. All right, get back on the trail. <laughs> All right. Fairs should be good. 
Heavy fog. A thief comes and steals 62 bullets. He stole uh -oh. all of our ammo. Uh-oh. Uh, how many bullets do we have left? That's like we have we have eleven bullets. <laughs> oh, good God! Uh oh, one of the oxen has died. No, <laughs> we have one ox left. Well, we're now at the Dales. Would you like to take a look around? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. Look at that lazy guy with two oxen, rubbing it in, living the good life. <laughs> Uh, all right it. what would you like to do continue on the trail check for supplies uh, uh look at the map uh, stop to rest attempt to trade or talk to people I need to attempt to trade that cheerful music oh yeah attempt to trade <laughs> all right uh you meet another immigrant who wants 150 bullets <laughs> 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 man this game really rubs it in doesn't it no nope. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Oh, God. Look at the map. Let's at least see how much progress we managed to make. <laughs> yeah, we, we are at the next stop is the finish line. Yep. The question is, can we make it at this point? <laughs> yeah. We have 11 bullets. We have 11 <laughs> bullets. Uh, We have no. Oh, actually, no, we still have a wagon tongue somehow. Huh, I thought we did. Yeah, but yeah, we have nine sets of clothes, 11 bullets, one ox, uh, one of every type of uh, axle thing, and we have 81 pounds of food. Oh, God. Yeah, Chester died. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he broke his arm and then decided it wasn't worth it. I broke my arm a third time. That's it. I'm jumping off the wagon for realsies. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. All right. It's okay. He's just at the North Pole. Yeah. We They'll resurrect him. We there. really didn't need that thief. That thief is the thing that's going to kill oh, yeah, us. That thief screwed us. Yeah. If that hadn't happened, we probably would have a chance. But yep. now I'm like. At this point, Leroy Jenkins it. Let's just go for it. All right. Uh, the trail divides here. You may float down the Columbia River or take the Barlow Tow Road. Considering we have $1, I don't think we could afford the toll road. Nope. Float down the Columbia River. All right. Use the arrow keys to guide your raft through the rushing waters of the Columbia River. Uh, okay. I didn't know there was an action sequence in this. Uh, after passing the third direction sign, land your raft at the trail to the Willamette Valley. Okay, third direction sign. All right. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. I didn't know that this was in here. I completely forgotten about this. So we're actually, like, traveling down the river oh. on our little little floaty boat can this river just take us all the way to oregon city <laughs> oh it, i wish that would be awesome man that would be convenient <laughs> so it said the third direction sign i don't think i've seen a single direction sign oh okay there's the first one so it said after that land which i guess at that point i just beached the the raft uh, probably. Also, I don't know, like, how far the hitboxes are for the sprites on this, so I'm just, I'm trying to, oh, well, darn, I hit the wrong side. Sorry. What did you do? Nothing. It's okay. Nothing bad happened. It just said we hit the shore. Okay. Nothing bad right. happened. It's fine, then. It's fine. Yeah. All right, that was the second sign, so I have to do that after the third sign. So after the third sign, you need to go to shore? Yeah, that's what it said. Now, which shore, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's the one with the signs. Uh, okay, there's the third sign. 
So let's let's beach this baby. All right. All right. The raft has hit the shore. You lost nine sets of clothing, one tug, and seventy-seven pounds of food. I, you told me I had to beach. What? Oh, I have to beach there at the Squoogles. Darn it. You didn't tell me I needed to look for the Squoogles. Yeah, you didn't say anything about that. Well, uh, we are now naked with a gun and one ox. <laughs> Congratulations. You made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points Yay! you have received. <laughs> Yay. We... <laughs> We did it! We made it to Oregon, everybody! <laughs> we're we're naked in fair health with one ox in our wagon and four <laughs> spare wagon parts. We have no bullets, we have no food, and we have one dollar, which I don't know where we're keeping it anymore. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we barely made it. With one person by the skin of our nose. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. For going as a carpenter, your points are doubled. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, but to be fair, you did win. We did make it. <laughs> hey, it's my first run of this game ever, and I actually made it to Oregon. <laughs> oh yeah, and nobody died of dysentery. People did die, though. Yeah, just not of dysentery. Oh my god, that was great yeah so there you go you got 916 points <laughs> right now speed run to see how quickly you kill everyone darn right all right well bumbler it's now your turn how are you supposed to get 7,000 points <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my god is that like the is that like the the leaderboard that's like the high score yeah that's the leaderboard how did they do that Oh my god, that's insane. Dear lord. All right. Here we go. Uh, all right, should we be a banker, a carpenter, or a farmer? Well, this is your playthrough, so you get to pick. Yeah. You know what? I'll let chat pick my starting thing. Banker, I get the most money. Uh, farmer, I think I get like some starting food, I guess. I honestly don't know what the difference is. I just know uh, you get a point multiplier for picking a worse start. Three? All right. Everybody wants me to have a hard start. All right, what's the first name? Well, who's the wagon leader? Well, we're gonna leave that up to check because like, like we we just did my playthrough. This is yours. Yep. So, chat, what do you want to name the character? Bumbler. Okay, we're making this personal then. So uh, that would mean <laughs> TC um, is my wife. Just... Uh, Nasida, you're going to be my son. And Bumblina will be the daughter. Yep. We have Bumblina, and then the last one's got to be Chester. All right. Sweet little baby Chester. All right. Uh, jumping off place for Oregon is Independence. I'm going to start in April. That's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before leaving, I only get $400. Ah. Oh. Mm, All right. That's actually tough. All right, so let's get uh, two yokes. Um, actually, you know what? I want to do three. But God, that eats into my money a lot. Uh, all right, we're going to get five sets of clothes for now. And I want to load up on ammunition. So $2 a box... Uh, 100 would be 10. So, there was a lot of people that wanted to trade for ammunition, though. So, that's true. Let's do, let's do 40 boxes of, of gun. Yeah, ammunition was never a problem for us in that one. Yeah, and then we'll do... Uh, I like the idea of, like, two of each for the wagon parts. And then the rest is going into food. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, let's see. 310. Uh, price is 20 cents a pound. Uh, Did anybody hear my dog can barking? I do it? Can I do a thousand? Oh, nope. I can't do that much. Um, uh, let's do 500. I'm 10 bucks over. Oof. 
Uh, alright, I'm gonna have to cut back on the ammunition budget. I think. Or... You know what? I'm gonna go with two oxen. And then... I'm gonna buy one more of each. Oops. Really? Are people not hearing? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're hearing the barks now. Yeah, my do my dogs are barking. <laughs> so. There we go. Exactly four hundred dollars. I am not going to be able to buy anything on the trail. I have to do either hunting oh, or trading. Oh no! <laughs> Let's do this. This is either going to go horribly or it's going to somehow go really well for you. Yep. All right. Independence, April 1st, 1848. Let's do this. All right. First off, we are going to change our pace. Uh, and we are going to do a grueling pace at uh, meager rations. And we are going to hit the trail. Oh, boy. All right. 102 miles of the Kansas River. Woo! Lose the trail. Lose five days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Wow, this is starting off great. We just left the city. How did we lose the trail? <laughs> also, see you later, Laru. All right. Well, we reached the river in three days. All right. What do we got at the river? Uh, all right. You know what? I'm good on everything. You must cross the river at this point. It is 625 feet across and 4.4 feet deep in the middle. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to caulk the wagon and flo float across. All right. Uh, yay. I had no trouble. All right. Perfect. Your farmer had uh, bad directions. Yep. That's that's probably true. All right, let's haul ass. Yeehaw! Forty miles a day. Let's go. All right, we're at the next stop. <laughs> All right, we're at the Big Blue River. Um, uh, let's see what we're looking at. Uh, two hundred thirty-eight feet across, only three point five feet deep. We could ford that. We're just gonna run through it. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all want the bumbler run? You're getting it. Oh, the river was too deep. I lost three wagon wheels and two oxen in Chester and DC drop. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that went south quick. First run, like first trail, and you are already losing people. <laughs> you found an abandoned wagon, but it was empty. Thanks, game. Because we decided to run through a river. Well, that's your first thing. <laughs> <laughs> this yep. It was only three and a half feet deep. I is three and a half feet too deep for me. <laughs> I'm a short bitch, okay? No, I'm not short. TC goes to the best thing about this point. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, she's just. That's exactly why you wouldn't run across the I'm just. I just love that you drowned in like knee, like knee high deep water. That's why I don't do water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like water. Don't like oh my water. god, <laughs> this is great. I don't even like facing the water in the shower. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> that's great oh god that was great uh, Bumblina has typhoid well this is going great yep beyond the grave the great TC keeps her husband in check darn right oh my god but you know what we're making great time and Bumblina has died well you know what that's fine that means our food lasts longer you're down to two people Ah, oh, look at it. Chimney Rock. It's great. We made it here in less than a month. But hey, you know what? At least I'm still alive, because I think I was not one of the people who died, right? Nope, nope. It's just you and me now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's do this, Bumbler. We're going to make it through here. 
Yeah. All right. Chimney Rock. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We'll make it to the fort. We have 240 pounds of food and the weather's good and our health is poor. Very poor. Oh, Nasa has a snake bite and a broken leg. <laughs> 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 oh, we passed a gravesite. Oh, here lies Voland. Okay, so it's the same one. Oh my god. Alright, we, we made it to the fort. <laughs> Somebody please help me. Don't let me go back out on oh a trail god. with this guy. <laughs> Alright, we'll uh we'll we'll stop to rest. You get uh I'll give you two days, buddy. There you go. Health is poor. You know what? That sounds good to me. Let's get going. <laughs> I'm still feeling terrible. It's okay. The, the, the snake bite is just, uh, it, it'll make you stronger. You're going to absorb its power. And one of the oxen have died and we lost the trail. Great job. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, well, there you go. You died. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> wow man this game goes freaking oops severe thunderstorm lose one day uh oh hey wild fruit there we go and another thunderstorm thanks game alright now that uh, everyone is dead I can go into my food rations and go to filling cause I don't have to share anymore bumbler now that you've killed me I'm going to haunt you for the rest of your days <laughs> that's probably fair <laughs> and i am going you know you know uh oh i broke my leg you, it's starting you want to know it's you happening know how i'm going to haunt you uh -huh. i'm going to for the rest of eternity continuously sing ocean man in your ear <laughs> you know what that's fair all right i need a trade i need an ox <laughs> Uh, that is your current. meet another immigrant who wants one wagon axle. Uh, he will trade you food. You know what? Uh, I've got three axles. Yeah, I'll trade for some food. That's a terrible deal, though, but I'm going to do it. All right, what else can I trade? They want one set of clothing. They will give you an axle. <laughs> I don't need an axle. I need, I need another ox. <laughs> Down to one ox. Oh, no, this is terrible. No one wants to trade with you today. Fuck you too, game. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bumbler playthrough. Bumbler has died. <laughs> 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 just, just, nobody wants to trade you. Fuck you then. I'm going to go do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> God, that did not take long at all. <laughs> Hi. Karma. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there we go. Here lies Bumbler. <laughs> what would we like to write on my epitaph? <laughs> that is your gravestone, buddy. What would what would what do you want to be on it? Uh would you like to write an epitaph? Yeah. What would you like on your tombstone? Fine then. <laughs> Don't trade with me. <laughs> <laughs> Bleh. There we go. <laughs> I can't imagine a, a more fitting tombstone. <laughs> oh my god. You want to know the best thing about this what? though? Is it actually remember, like, if you had the physical copy, it would remember some of these in the memory. Mm -hmm. And you can actually encounter tombstones from, like, past playthroughs. That's kind of what the feeling I was getting with the, with the tombstones. I wasn't sure, because, like, when I saw the, uh, the, the leaderboard, I was actually wondering, is that actually, like, an online leaderboard that was implemented at some point? Because it's online. Maybe? Honestly, I don't because know. Because if that's the case, I wonder if this tombstone is going to be encountered by someone else. <laughs> Yeah, it's potentially. Uh, would you like to make changes? No, I'm good. All the people in your party have died. Press spacebar to continue. 
Oh my god. Oh god. But you know what? We actually made it farther than I thought. Just like honestly, once we hit that second river and I decided just to ford it instead of uh like corking it, like that was just where everything went downhill. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you have another run. <laughs> Go for it. Well, I did want to ask. I have another Oregon Trail game. But it's a zombie themed one. A zombie themed Oregon Trail game? Yeah. That sounds It's called Oregon Trail. O R G A N. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. <laughs> 